Today we are going to discuss about top 7 best gaming mouse available in the market. Through extensive research we have tested dozens of products and bring the top 7 best gaming mouse for you. For price of these gaming mouse, check the links in description below. For more videos, subscribe this channel and press bell icon to support our efforts. Let's get start. Number 7. Razer Viper Mini Razer Viper Mini is an ideal mouse to choose if you have small to medium-sized hands. Thanks to its low-profile design, diminutive dimensions of 118mm by 62mm and low weight of 60 grams, the Pixart 3359 optical sensor is a strong recent release and features accurate one-to-one -one tracking, while optical switches under each button should offer a small latency advantages against traditional alternatives. The Viper Mini also also includes a great cable, which is quite flexible and feels almost wireless in a bungee. In games like Call of Duty Warzone and Valorant, we found the Viper Mini responsive and comfortable regardless of the circumstances. The mouse also comes with RGB lighting in the form of an illuminated logo and tail light, which can be controlled in Razer's Synapse software. Overall, this is a great gaming mouse, especially given its relatively low price. Number 6. Glorious Model I Glorious Model I is my new favorite mouse, offering a high button count and a wide, comfortable shape that compares favorably to two incredibly popular mice, the Razer Basilisk B3 and the Logitech G502 Hero. Unlike those mice though, the Model I features a high-quality flexible cable that makes it feel almost wireless, an ultra-light 69 grams design, and high-quality mouse skates. The effect is transformative. You still get the ergonomic right-handed design that so many people love, complete with a shelf for your thumb and four side buttons, but you also have a dramatically better package for first-person shooters and other fast-paced competitive games. The side buttons are also replaceable, allowing you to opt for different shapes or flat panels that remove the buttons you don't need. Number 5. Razer Basilisk V3 Pro The Basilisk V3 Pro manages to tick a lot of boxes, with a right-handed ergonomic design that can perform well enough in a wide range of game genres, from FPS to MNO, although its high button count, 11, and relatively high weight, 112 grams, push it more towards the latter than the former. Both switches and sensor are Razer's own designs, with third-generation optical switches and a Focus Pro 30K optical sensor, and they performed well in our testing with good tactility, switches, and perfect tracking, sensor given the comfortable shape, top-tier internals, and long battery life. I'm happy to give the Basilisk V3 Pro our recommendation despite its high price. Number 4. Logitech G Pro X Superlight G Pro X Superlight is arguably the best gaming mouse on the market, save for its high cost. Wireless gaming mice may put some people off, but from years of using the Superlight, and its predecessor, and empirical tests, the G Pro X Superlight is just as responsive and reliable as a wired mouse. It's also extremely light, tipping the scales at just 63 grams, yet it lasts weeks between charges, Logitech quotes 70 hours. It offers the same shape and an extremely similar sensor, but weighs around 25% more, includes RGB lighting and side buttons that can be moved to the left or right. If you're not a super competitive gamer, the original GP Galley is probably a better pick. Its long battery life is thanks to a highly power-efficient Hero 25K optical sensor, which also performs extremely well in games. This accuracy, combined with the mouse's streamlined shape, low weight, and lack of cable drag, make the G Pro X Superlight an absolute pleasure to use, even in the most demanding titles like Rainbow Six, Siege, CSGO, or Valorant. We're happy to recommend it to most gamers, given its medium size, 125mm slash 4.9 long 63.5mm slash 2.5 wide. Even if you have never considered wireless mice before, the Superlight is good enough to make an exception. It's also available in three colors, black, white, and pink. Number 3. Corsair Cater Pro Wireless Corsair Cater Pro Wireless belongs to a rare group of wireless gaming mice that are both relatively affordable and actually perform just as well as their wired counterparts. The KPW's strong points include its long battery life, 135 hours on a single AA battery, low latency 2.4 GHz, and backup Bluetooth connection, and an acceleration-free optical sensor that performed well in our testing. The only criticism I can make is the shape, which due to its relatively short length, is best suited for smaller hands and fingertip grips. Thankfully, the grippy matte finish on the sides of the mouse make it pretty easy to move, even for fast flicks in games like CSDO. This reduces battery life slightly and changes the balance, but the mod makes it 
it feel more responsive in the hand, so I personally prefer it. Number 2. Steel Series Rival 3 Rival 3 is a top-tier budget mouse for small to medium-sized hands. It has a surprisingly low weight of 77 grams, making it technically an ultralight and a good shape with matte plastic that's easy to manoeuvre in claw or fingertip grip styles. The sensor is a top optical, branded as the True Move Core, and seems very similar to the well-respected Pixart 3330. The Rival 3 also includes RGB lighting and six buttons, which is a great haul for a budget mouse. Now for a few negatives. While this mouse is an ambidextrous shape, there are only side buttons on the left side, and these are quite slim. The mouse's cable is also subpar, being made of rubber and staying quite inflexible, making a mouse bungee a wise move. The mouse feet are also a bit worse than those found on more premium mice. However, both of these elements can be upgraded by the user, so they're wise cost savings that don't hurt this mouse's potential in any meaningful way. The LightSync model is very similar to its Prodigy predecessor, but includes better RGB lighting that allows for smooth gradients instead of solid colors. Otherwise, you get the same specs and features as before, including a reliable optical sensor, pleasant clicks, and that comfortable flat shape, which is much beloved by legions of G102, G203, G305, and G Pro owners. This budget mouse is well worth considering for anyone that prefers a claw or fingertip grip with small to medium hands. Number 1. Logitech G502 X Plus First of all, the mouse acknowledges the popularity of optical switches, switching to a hybrid optical mechanical design that offers the fast feedback of opticals and the tactility of mechanical switches. The weight has also dropped substantially, 100 grams for the G502 X Plus was 140 14 grams for the G502 Lightspeed, a response to the continuing trend towards ultralight options, and optional weights are no longer an option. Finally, the thumb button has been made reversible and even removable, allowing it to fit a wider range of hand sizes and user preferences. RGB lighting is only found on the Wireless Plus model, but looks fantastic with a diffuse look and a nice retrowave gradient out of the box. Taken together, the G502X Plus feels like a much more modern mouse than its predecessor, while maintaining the characteristics, the features, the ergonomic right-handed design and relatively high weight that made it popular in the first place. If you hated the G502 Hero because of its heavy design, then you won't be converted by the G502X, but if you like that older model, or simply don't mind a heavier mouse if the features are up to par, then you'll find plenty to appreciate here. Note that at present, the D502X models are too expensive to recommend for most people, but as price drops inevitably occur and stock of previous iterations dries up, the D502X will come into its own as a high performance and no doubt highly popular option. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.